What's up guys, let's spawn in all the different variants of the Megapithecus. What's up guys, my name is Fatty McButterpants, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to spawn in all the different types of variants of the Megapithecus. And for those of you who don't know, the Megapithecus is basically the giant gorilla boss that you fight in Ark. The one I'm running on right now is the Overseer variant of the Megapithecus, which can only be spawned in on PC. Unfortunately, I know, a lot of you guys are bummed out. But before you take off, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to spawn in the normal version of the Megapithecus, the Megapithecus boss, in the Gamma, Beta, and Alpha variants, which can be spawned in on consoles both PS4 and Xbox. All you have to do is make sure you're either on the center map or the island map and follow my instructions and you'll be good to go. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And finally, don't forget to stick around to the end because we are gonna have a fight to see who is better, the regular Megapithecus or the Overseer Megapithecus. All right, so starting off on Xbox One, I'm gonna show you guys how to spawn in a custom level Megapithecus and that is GM Summon. Space, quotation marks, gorilla, underscore character, underscore BP, underscore C. Close those quotation marks and then put the level of the dinosaur you want it to be right after that. Go ahead and hit enter and issue that admin command. And there you go, guys. There is your custom level Megapithecus. Now, just be careful when using this admin command. Make sure you force tame it immediately after or else he's going to do a lot of damage. Because even though you typed in that GM summon, this boss will not spawn in tamed with that GM summon command. But you will get that custom level. And once you tame it, you will get that taming bonus as well. Alright, so next up I'm going to show you an example of how to spawn in a boss tamed. And that's going to be summon tamed space gorilla underscore character underscore BP underscore C. And then go ahead and issue that admin command and it will spawn in a tamed Megapithecus. Now you ask, why would I spawn in the other one instead of this one? Well, this one, you don't get to choose the level of the dino. This one is 1500 as you can see. And this one is just a random level which turns out to be 58. Just so you know, yes, you can ride it. No saddle is needed for this boss. And before you ask, yes, these admin commands do work on PS4. Here I am typing in the GM summon command with the custom level right here, the 1000. I'm going to go ahead and issue that admin command. It's going to spawn in untamed. So don't forget, when you spawn it in using those GM summon commands, make sure you force tame it right away. All right, guys, so obviously there are several commands for the Megapithecus. The GM summon command and the long blueprint command are the ones that you have to type in if you want to choose the level of the dino. Just don't forget to force tame those bad boys. And if you are not on single player, make sure you're typing in cheat and leaving a space if you're on a server. Here's another set of Megapithecus admin commands, guys. Obviously, the ones that have the center in them are to be used on the center map. And don't forget, they spawn in in the Gamma, Beta, and Alpha variants. The admin commands with easy in them are the gamma, the admin commands with the medium are the beta, and the admin commands with the hard in it are the alpha variants. Alright, so for you PC guys out there, the small admin command up top, I did not have any luck using that admin command. The only command I had luck using was the long blueprint command that you see there with the custom level 35. I will leave that admin command in the description down below so you can copy and paste it into your game. Just keep in mind, you too will have to force tame these bosses. Welcome to Ark Sports. My name is Fatty McButterpants, and boy, do we have a fight for you today. We have a matchup between the Overseer Megapithecus and the Megapithecus boss from Ark Survival Evolved. Now, these two fighters hate each other. They have a regular disdain towards one another. We actually have some footage from the weigh-ins earlier today where the referee had to break up these two before it got too ugly. Let's take a look. All right, break it up, you two. <laughs> oh boy, that sure got out of hand quickly, didn't it? Thank God that referee was there to stop it, right? Oh, what's that? I'm being told the fight is about to start. Let's go down there and join them for the fight. 
All right, let's go. Let's touch gloves, not butts. Okay, let's go. And that was our referee, Danielle Dirty Drawers, down there giving us the ceremonial start to this fight. And out from the corner comes the boss, Megapithecus. He is pissed off, and he actually brought some friends with him. I'm being told the ref is allowing him to bring Gigantopithecus into the ring, since that is one of his special attacks. Now, the Overseer does not have that attack. He cannot call in Overseer Gigantopithecus into the ring. And it looks like some of them are having trouble staying inside the ring just as it were. Now we're getting a good look at their health bar. As you can see, the Overseer's health was a little lower than the boss, Megapithecus, but they are still putting up a great fight. Looks like the Overseer is going to have a challenge with all these Gigantopithecus coming around him, circling around near his fists and his feet down there, but he seems to be taking them out easily enough. The problem the Overseer will be running into is he is taking hit points away from the Megapithecus and directing them towards the Gigantopithecus just to get him off of his hands and feet. And that was a nice throw by the Overseer. You saw that tech rock fly right through the boss Megapithecus. And the boss Megapithecus returns with a rock of his own and calling in more of his Gigantopithecus friends from the skies. Now one thing not yet mentioned was that the Overseer Megapithecus and the Boss Megapithecus both have levels of 112 to keep this fight as even matched as possible. Now one thing that may be difficult to see from this angle is the Mesopithecus and what damage they are doing. Now the Mesopithecus are the tiny monkeys that can crawl on your shoulder that are on the ground right now running around under the Megapithecus feet. Now those things may not look like they're doing a lot of damage, but they can throw feces and they can cause severe infection from that. So it may not look like they're doing much damage, but they are all helping to pitch in the boss Megapithecus. And as you can see there, the Overseer's health is way lower than the boss Megapithecus health. Oh my word, did you see that Overseer rock fly? I'd like to take this time to thank our Twitch sponsor, Fatty McButterpants, twitch.tv forward slash Fatty McButterpants. Go there to see a mediocre player play video games. Now let's get back to the fight. Oh, it looks like we got a couple of nice ground pound action going on by these two Megapithecus. Let's check on that health there, Tom. There it is, the Overseer Megapithecus is less than a fourth health with the boss Megapithecus at over a half health still. Oh, looks like that boss Megapithecus is trying to call in some more recruits. Oh, and a nice throw by the Overseer. Oh, and a return throw by the boss Megapithecus. Those stones weigh over two tons each, and they're throwing them around like rag dolls. Looks like we're getting a new camera angle here, the backside of the Overseer. Looks like we're getting a nice couple of ground slams here, and look at those dead Gigantopithecus just laying everywhere in the arena. Looks like we're coming down to the wire here. Oh, and a nice rock throw by the boss Megapithecus. Oh, it looks like the boss Megapithecus is calling in some friends one last time, and there is one Gigantopithecus left, and the Overseer just swatted him away like he was nothing. A nice ground slam headshot by the boss Megapithecus. Couple of nice ground slams, and here comes that Gigantopithecus. Oh, a nice rock throw by the Overseer. A double headshot by the boss Megapithecus, and a rock throw. It is over. It is all over. The normal boss Megapithecus has beaten the Overseer Megapithecus in a fair fight and even matched both of them 112 levels. Let's go ahead and head back to Tom and see if we can't get a replay of that final fight, that ending shot. Oh, and there's the final rock throw by the Overseer. Swats away that Gigantopithecus, a double headshot slam by the boss Megapithecus, and the final blow with the rock to the face, which ended it all. And then the boss Megapithecus takes his lap around the arena, and rightfully so. Ladies and gentlemen, with all the excitement that just happened, I'm going to remind you, don't forget to go back and get those admin commands that you might need. Don't forget, if you're not on PC, you can't spawn in that Overseer Megapithecus. But as you just saw, you're not really missing out on much. Yes, it does look cool, but the regular boss Megapithecus does just as well. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. If you guys have any ideas of things you want to see in ARK, leave those in the comments down below because some of the best ideas come from you guys. I'm Fatty McButterpants, and I will see you guys next time.